Greetings from sunny California. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. I'm going to memorize your name and throw my head away. All right, all right. Maybe I was a couple miles over the speed limit. If you were twice as smart, you'd still be stupid. Me, Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. Thanks for your help. Uh, no problem. I just wish I could do something for that family. You could put round the hat. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. I could tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? Are you? Good man, Cunningham. You're all right. Yeah, I'm great. Poorer, but great. This is what I'm good at. Do you think I could fit in there? I couldn't fit in there. I'd like to think you would have had something more to say about getting shoved in a fridge, Herschel. You look like you were a big pain in the neck. Now I have a much lower opinion of you. Do you have any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Not now, Mervyn. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. You ever think about how many people have died in this world and how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them? Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're called politicians. Stay down, damn it! My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. As the cannibals finished off eating the clown, one said, Did that taste funny to you? You read the story in The Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So, things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. You'd scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. Ha! Huh. Phelps, you jump like a girl. <laughs> I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talkies and color, and look what we have now. I found some lumber over there had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. So you're the first in this family born without a tail. What is it exactly? Microfilm. A document shrunk to the size of your thumbnail. Rod must have amazing eyesight. A skeleton goes into a bar and orders a beer and a mop. Phelps, Earl. Looks like quite a bloodbath. What was this all about? Drugs and money. What else? Twelve dollar hat. Jack Coso. That's my opening negotiating position. You hungry or something, Phelps? I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. Get this. Middle of the afternoon, this crazy woman decides to set fire to the hotel she lives in. A fire brigade come and put it out. A couple hours later, she does it again. Phones up Central and says, I've set fire to my hotel twice today. You'd better come and get me. <laughs> Did they send some uniforms around to get her? No, that's the best part. The desk sergeant, he gets his share of crank calls, says, All right, Lady Nero, why don't you come on down here? An hour later, she shows. Hair still smoking, clothes smoldering, smelling like a brush fire. <laughs> Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We have one of your laundry tags. Can you tell us who it might belong to? Are you kidding? I got work to do, Mac. Here's the customer book. Knock yourself out. I used to be indecisive. Now, I'm not so sure. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Lex Parsimonii. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all liturgical on me. I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate it. And try this one on for size. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging her. Ah, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. 
You like a cigar? Drink, boys. Sure, I'll have a scotch. Biggs. I guess the wedding's off. He only robbed her mother and killed her best friend. Cut the guy some slack. The early bird gets the worm. The second mouse gets the cheese. Two peanuts are walking down the street. One was assaulted. Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Coombs. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. That's a joke, too, son. Phelps, you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. Um, send them in, please. I'll, uh, I'll see this patient again after they've left. Your investigation is much more important than my sciatica. I'm just in pain here. Leave me alone. You're a naughty boy, aren't you, Herbert? I keep myself to myself. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. On Jeans Lindbergh. Very expensive watch. Favored by Flyboys. I always wanted one as a kid. That's funny. As a kid, all I wanted was some food on the table. The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two by four. So what? Good riddance. I found two surrettes in his jacket pocket. Wow. Keep talking. Someday you'll say something intelligent. From the girl. Used to getting her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. And what is your type, Phelps? I'm married. I know that. But you're not blind or dead inside, are you? Wait. Scrap that second half of the question. Uh, I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah! The man is human after all. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm with you on the blondes. Brunettes are fine too. And there's nothing wrong with a good redhead. <laughs> but I draw the line at red. You know, I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining a free market. A man with high standards. My standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. If olive oil comes from olives, where does baby oil come from? What have I done? Ah! That old boy really fell for that broad. Thank God I didn't park there. Well, this day was a total waste of makeup. If you can fake sincerity, you got it made. One nice thing about egotists, they don't talk about other people. That terrible burglary. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you, ma'am. We have some questions, if you don't mind. Why would I mind, young man? If you are returning 43 pieces of my property. Okay, before we get down to that, I'll have a scotch. Thanks, straight up. I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. Skip, I want you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> Why is the word abbreviation so long? You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole, you'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want when you're sober. So that's why you never sober up. Exactly. An Englishman, an Irishman, and a Scotsman walk into a bar. Bartender looks up and says, what is this, some kind of joke? Wrinkle was not one of the things I wanted to eat. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. <laughs> My wife is so dumb. She stares at the orange juice for hours. Uh, does say concentrate on the part. You like jazz, Cole? The hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? Burglar used a pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, buster. What's going on over there? The mayor is going on television. Appealing for calm. Television? Who can afford one of those things? Only movie stars have things like that. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're gonna get. The women don't find you handsome? 
They should at least find you handy. This seems like a long shot, aren't they all? I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? You'll be calling Richard Nixon a crook next. <laughs> a man like you always loses a battle of wits because you're unarmed. The only reason some people get lost in thought is because it's unfamiliar territory. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, and a movie producer's wife. We're finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. Let me know how you get on. Sure, Mal. Thanks for the lead. Sure, Mal. Thanks for the lead.